Okay guys, so as you can see, I've moved you all in, so you can't see me at all, so you're just going to have to pretend you can see me, but I'm going to talk you through this a little bit. So everybody that's using paints, I'm going to be using acrylic paints because I'm going to be adding a little bit of texture into our uh, raccoon, but guys, you can do the, a similar thing with your pencil. Do you remember before where I taught you with a pencil to um, follow the hair growth? So you're going to colour in um, in the direction of hair growth. So if you pay attention to this, we're going to do this bit together in a minute anyway, but if you follow my paintbrush in the movements that I make, that's the movements you're going to be making with your pencil. Right, so because I've I've had to use paint to try and cover up the lines I wanted to tell you to rub out. We're going to start with the white. So I'm just going to quickly get this on. This is a very quick painting. I'm also going to leave patches of the white paper because you can never ever get your, your paint to be as pure a white as the paper. So I'm just going to leave a few bits of the white paper to show through. So I'm just going to kind of mimic the hair growth by go sweeping up to the top of my, my um, pen lines, your pencil lines. So sweeping up to the top, following those whiskers and leaving the paint really thick. You can probably see that. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to create a texture like fur. I think that it would look cool. So again, leaving a bit round his eyes. So you, um, unicorns? Why was I thinking about unicorns? Raccoons? <laughs> God, you can tell what I think about, can't you? Raccoons, um, they have sort of they have some shading of like a blacky browny colour around their eyes. So you've probably seen them in cartoons and stuff like that where it looks like they're wearing a robber's mask <laughs> or a balaclava. Um, so we're going to do a similar thing, I think. So we're going to just leave like an area around his, the actual sleepy bit of his eye there. I'm going to just leave that pure paper white. Okay. And I'm going to get some of this in here as well. Like I was saying guys, this is just a very quick, simple painting. But you know what, sometimes simple is good. Okay, let's do a bit more. Remember I've told you guys that acrylic paints dry really quickly and I can see that this is starting to dry already. So to create a little bit of texture in our paint, I'm going to use a pencil, like a fairly old pencil, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, you can always wash it. As long as you wash your paints quickly, then it's all good. Now I'm just going to drag my pencil through here, through the paint so it looks a bit like fluffy fur. I hope you can see that. I brought you in close today because I was hoping that you would be able to see this. But I guess because it's white paint, maybe that's why it's not so good. And you will be able to, like there, look, you will be able to see the pencil coming through. But that's absolutely fine because actually our raccoon um, has areas in his fur that are grey. We're actually going to be doing that with pencil anyway, so it's all good. So can you see I'm making this fur growth look like it's coming down towards his nose like this? Can you see? So where I've left this paper, now what's happening is the pencil is picking up. The pencil marks are happening here and that's what I wanted. So now we're starting to get those grey areas here in the middle, see, which is great, okay awesome. You can wipe some of the paint off your pencil if you want to or you don't have to, you don't, it's, it's okay. 
And the same here. So where I left that white space around his eye, now what I'm doing is I'm just creating like his mask around his eye, but I still want it to be fluffy and furry. So you're going to be doing this with your pencil too, guys. Okay. If you're colouring in solely with pencils or crayons, you'll do this as well. Oops, so you can see those lines coming through. The paint's not completely dry there. And the same the other side. You know what you could do? You could send me requests if you want to. If there's something that you want to learn how to draw, an animal or a, I don't know, anything, then send them to me and I'll see if I, well, I'll do my best to teach you guys how to draw it or paint it. So there we are, look, I, I like that effect and I'm going to do some here at the end of his whiskers as well. Pencil into the paint at the end of those whiskers. So when your paint start drying, the pencil will pick up on top of the paint as well, so that's quite cool. When it's wet, it kind of doesn't, it sort of slides away a bit. Right, okay, so that's his... Um, this is face done. So, let's do his ear. So, I'm going to put white, this white paint here. I'm going to leave that middle area just going around the edge. And then I'm just going to put a bit of grey just on the tip of, tips of his ears, like on the tips of his whiskers. Maybe just a little bit over the inside of his ear. You can go outside of your pen mark if you want it extra fluffy, if you want to. Obviously if you've drawn all of your character in in pencil, then you can do all of that, which is good. Right, okay. So, outside of his body, I'm going to leave his tummy pure white, just to make this easier. One of the reasons why is because I've actually, I'm running out of paint on my palette. So there we are, let's give him a really, him or her, could be either, really white tummy in there. Again, pencil, let's make some fur, let's make some fur in here. So this is like experimenting, it's called process art, so you're experimenting with texture here guys. And it's really great for you to do that, sometimes you might not like the effect, and that's okay. But if you experiment, then you know, you will find things that you really enjoy to do. Don't be afraid of trying new things. I mean, if you want, <laughs> if you wanted to make a multicolored box, you could do that too. If you wanted to, we're just going to do a grey and white one, like the little character I showed you earlier.
very textured. Oh no, my computer has gone off. I hope you guys can still see what I'm doing. Right, okay, so the tail and the tail. Let's add this creamy colour here. I think I was thinking unicorn because this happened with my unicorn where the where my paint um you can still see the black lines right that's all Now then, we're going to do quite a lot of the pencil lines at the tip of the tail. Because we want it to be quite grey down there at the end. And about here, we're going to do a stripe. Now, I have actually run out of um, white paint. So I'm just going to carry on with my pencil stripes here. So we want sort of three or four of our hairy pencil stripes. You see how different it looks guys when you're not doing your scratches with your pencil through the paint. It looks so different doesn't it? So let's just get some more paint on his whole tail. Adding lots of this stuff. This is acrylic paint so you can see it's super thick. Acrylic paints are great guys to try. If you can try them at home that would be amazing because they're so, they dry really fast and they can be really thick like this. Watercolour paints and poster paints just aren't quite the same, although they are brilliant too. They're just not quite the same. I'm going to go over those a bit because I actually want to blend those in. So the other good thing about acrylic paints, guys, is they're permanent when they dry. So when they dry, you can create layers. So look, I can go right back over the top of that mark that I made. And it's called glazing, so I can still see what's going on underneath it a bit. Can you see how that happens? And it just sort of blends everything in and makes it super soft. All the way around his tail. Don't worry about the lines because we can tidy up the pen marks right at the end. It's like he's wrapping his tail around his body. Right, okay, so let's get a few more of these stripes going on in here. Let's do one here. Oh, that paint is so thick there. I 
quite enjoyed the effect, the effect actually of painting over the top of the pencil marks. I actually really liked that. I might do it again. Right, I'm going to soften these a bit because they're all a little bit rough. And I want to do some more up here on his head. So I'm going to go around the line carefully like this and then drag it down to blend it in, so we're following the right direction. Okay. Obviously guys, if you're using pencils, then you're not going to have a white pencil, are you? So what you can do is you can maybe reverse it, so all of these white parts that I'm doing, you could maybe do in a gray or a brown even. That would be kind of nice. Right, I'm just going to overlay this bit here as well because I like it like that. It looks subtle and nice. I like it. And I think we might be done for the white paint. As I said, guys, don't worry if you paint over the lines because we can tidy up those lines right at the end. Right, and now I'm just going to get a touch of the black. So now I'm mixing some white paint with the black, to make a grey. This, this I'm actually going to do a bit of painting now. I'm just going to just, even though it's the same as the pencil marks really, but I don't know, it's just add a bit of, a bit of extra, like a bit of extra in our lives. Down his nose, like this. Drag it up, drag it up, drag it up, drag it up. Dipping my brush in the water, and I'm going to do the same here. So up to the end and drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. Dipping my brush into the water because it's still a bit grey. Can you see how that's blending? I'm dragging it, dragging it, dragging it into that white paint. Let's go round there as well. Oopsie. Make sure you rinse your maybe make sure you rinse your brushes out between colours. Right, okie dokie. Bit more of the wet brush dragging through that colour to soften. And I'm going to do a bit of that, so wet brush look underneath the head and then drag 
a dab it on my tissue, you can't see that, it's in my hand. And then just drag it down. And again, this is making it look a bit sort of three-dimensional. Well, no, it's not, it's just adding a bit of shadow. And I'm going to do the same on his tail. Drag, drag, drag. little bit more down here and then I'm going to be done with this colour. Right, drag, 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 drag. Whoopsie bang. Bangs and crashes. Right, okay, I've got a pink watercolour pencil here. And I'm just going to just add a tiny bit of pink on his tummy because why not? Can you see just a tiny bit? Not that raccoons really have a pink tummy. And I'm gonna put a bit here too. And then his ears as well. Brush and just blend that colour in. Right, okie dokie, so let's just give him a black nose. What we're going to do is we're going to just leave a tiny area on the side there white. And what that does is it makes it look really shiny. And maybe I'm gonna put black at the tip of his ears as well with this paint. And there as well. This side too. And his tail. And put a bit there. I'm scratching the pencil back through this paint again. This is really dry now there. That bit 
can you see? You can see the bits which are dry and which bits aren't dry. Right. If you wanted to, you could give 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 her or him some eyelashes if you wanted to. Maybe we should do that with a pen. Eyelashes. And then you can tidy up your marks if you wanted to, where you had gone over it with the paint. And then if you wanted to, I mean you could, maybe we could give him like a bow tie. because why not? go guys we are done hope you enjoyed that it's a bit, a bit different that tutorial where I can't actually be next to you but there we go our little character in a drawing guys so we finished our cute little raccoon picture so you can do stuff like this at home all the time like with your teddy bears or your toys and things just find one and then look at the shapes, how it's made up, and then try and copy it, remembering to rub out the, the lines that overlap each other, like we did on this one. Do you remember where we rubbed out that line and then that line that went through the tail? But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, guys, remember to send me through your pictures because I really want to see, I want to see what you've been up to during this time. I hope you enjoy these um, art classes and yeah, look forward to painting with you again soon.